um, spoken with Jacob recently? How's he doing? Uh, I have spoken with Jacob recently. I've also spoken with his family. And one thing they really are uh, concerned about is that I uh, try to keep what, uh, you know, the privacy of their family at the uppermost. And so I, I really am, uh, and that's always my position as a lawyer, that, you know, things they tell me and that are confidential and that they don't want in the media, I, uh, I'm, of course, going to abide by that uh, entirely. And the only thing I can comment on to some extent is just the court process that's, that's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened today, if that was uh, the next question, is that he made another appearance and we've been moving along in provincial court mostly to get what they call the uh, disclosure out. Uh, disclosure is, uh, is, I think, fairly obvious, all of the, the investigative materials. I have all those now. I've been able to review them. I've been able to review them with my client uh, and take various instructions from him. I certainly can't talk about what goes on behind the scenes about that, but um, I, I've been able to look at uh, a huge wealth of materials that have been gathered. Um, so now that uh, we've passed that stage, we have to uh, um, move on to uh, to see where it's going to go. And, and as of today's date, we told the presiding judge that we're waiving a preliminary inquiry, which means we're not asking that uh, the Crown put all the evidence before a provincial court judge um, that would not be determined of any in any event of uh, what eventually happens uh, to this matter but uh, we waived that and the matter has now been uh, put into the Supreme Court of uh, British Columbia on May 28th and on that date uh, you'll have to stand by and see what happens at that point in time but that, ultimately in terms of resolving this matter it's going to be resolved in the Supreme Court of British Columbia that's the uh, because of the nature of the offense, that there's uh, two first-degree murder charges and a second-degree murder charge, that's the court that uh, is the only one uh, legislatively that can make any good, uh, final decisions on it. Could you expect Mr. Corman to give a plea at that time? Uh, that's a possibility. I mean, that would be something that would be uh, in keeping with the next stage. Um, and, of course, a plea can be... Uh, uh, not guilty or guilty, so I, I am not at liberty to discuss any instructions I have in that respect with the, uh, with the press as, as much as people want to know what's going to happen to this and because the, it's a community matter, um, that, that's just something I can't comment on today. Has a psych assessment been done yet? Another thing I can't uh, comment on as well. So. What was the reason for, for skipping that preliminary inquiry?